Hi, Sandy here. Um, I'm going to show you how I bind my books. Uh, I watched a Shannon Green video. I'm kind of stealing her idea. Well, not stealing it, but I'll show you how, how we do it. Um, I love to make these glue books, and I do them on loose leaf paper. And then um, you glue them here, and then you sew them which I will demonstrate for you. I've, I've got this old string that I got at a garage sale and I'm trying to get that used up. You need a big, a big needle like that. Or you can do almost anything you want. This one, my daughter and I uh, had a couple of brides books that we made into a book. It's so pretty. And we got fancy with it and we had some pretty pink string you can you need something pretty strong and we've added some pearl and glass beads so you can do whatever you want with it use any kind of thin string it's got to go through the needle that's important so we're going to bind these books you, you just need some basic equipment um, I have these two um, clamps they were in the garage they're my husband's and there's all different kinds of clamps. You can try other kinds. But that's what I've got. And then two boards. And I should cut them down to the same size. But it doesn't matter. This is the hardest part. Once you get past this, it's, it's, it's pretty easy. But you need to get your, your pages as straight as possible. Well, that's easy. But then you line them up here they should stick out a little bit but I I don't worry a lot about them sticking out a lot and then you you get them between the two boards to clamp them between the two boards and getting them lined up and keeping them lined up is hard and and you sometimes you gotta try several times to get it right so oh there's their eyes I gotta move this chair out of the way to give me room on the corner Okay, I, I try to work on the corner of the table. And I'm probably going to have to adjust the clamps at least once. So, so we'll get them lined up. Oh, yeah, this is very frustrating. And and if they're they if it turns out messy, you're gonna live with it forever because it's gonna be glued together. Okay. Oh, let's see see how it shifted? And this is pretty loose, I can tell that. So I have to adjust it some. Yeah, that one's right. Let me make sure this one's going to be right. So that I'm ready to clamp. Yeah, that one's right. This, this, is, this is the trickiest part because it shifts. It just keeps on shifting. I'm going to push down as hard as I can, try to keep it from shifting. Yeah, it's shifting. But sooner or later I'll get it. this side. Hey, I think I got it. Okay, and then you need a box or something. This just takes pretty basic tools. And then you hang it 
across the box. And then, um, where's my glue? You can use Elmer's glue. I use this Eileen's Tacky Glue. And I have a paintbrush in place. Okay. So, I'm going to shift that down out of the way. So, and I'm not a very patient person. This is not perfect, but it will do for me. You could take your time and do it more neatly. You can choose nicer yarns or ribbon, whatever you want to finish it. Uh, there's no limit to the possibilities. So, I'm going along here. I'm going to put this glue on. It's a little bit off right there, but it's going to do. I'm, I don't have the patience. <laughs> so, you, you, you spread it in here. Push it down, not deep, but you get it down into the nooks and crannies. I think I need a little bit more glue. Whoop! <laughs> Threw it on the floor. Okay, now I'm going to take this into my sunroom. I'm going to take it out of the box for a minute. I want it in the sunroom because I don't want my animals messing with it so they don't get in here. I'm going to leave this overnight to dry. If you do it in the morning, you can finish it in the evening. But let it dry in several hours and, and completely dry. If it's, if it's close, no, because when you drill the holes, it's going to shift around and you're not going to be happy. So make sure it's completely dry. So I'm going to let this dry overnight and we'll get back to you when it's done and we'll, we'll, we'll find the book. Ready? Okay, the glue is all dry. Turned out pretty straight, I think. It's not bad. So I'm down here in my workshop. And I've got my drill. And the drill bit is about that big. It uh, doesn't matter. You need to get like four strands of whatever you're working with through each hole. So it's it not you don't want it too big you want it just about the right size you're going to have to learn about what, what the right size is and do not drill your holes hanging over the edge of your table don't do that because it'll bend and it's not good you need something underneath I use this 2 by 4 and I'm going to drill about every I don't know quarter inch or a third of an inch. I'm just going to eye it. You can measure it out and about this far from the edge. Now we're going to go in the house. So, yeah. okay. okay, so here's my holes drilled. This is the back of the book. You can see the holes drilled. And I'm going to start at the bottom and push the needle in. I got a real long, so I got my big needle with the big eye in it. I've got a real long piece of string. Pull it all the way through. 
and I'm going to leave a tail about three inches on the end. And then I'm going to slip stitch all the way across. like this. And they, this should all be going in the same direction when you get all the way across. made my, it all the way across the side they're all going in the same direction and then when you get to the end you want to go through this end hole again and have it like this across the top and then you're going to want to go back back down the side Getting tangled up. And you're going to create an X as you go down. X as X is all the way down. I got my X's all the way down the side and I'm at the end again so we're gonna go through this end getting a little tangled up there darn it okay whoops this this needs to go across the bottom like that now we're going to go across the this and you're going to end up with a stitch in every other space I'm at the end again so again I'm gonna make a stitch on the end see and now I've got the stitches in every other space so now I'm gonna go back down again you go actually go across four times all together and I'm gonna fill in all of those gaps and I hope my thread's gonna reach <laughs>
Now we've got our line straight across on the front and the back. And I was incredibly lucky <laughs> that I guessed the length of the string just right. That's amazing. I Sometimes I run out and I have to tie another piece on and keep going. But this is amazing. So I'm going to tie, tie this in a tight knot. And you know what? I should have done this on the top of the book because the book is going to be sitting on this knot when, it, when I put it on the shelf. But it, it's fine. It's not a big deal. I should have put it on the top. But then it doesn't show so much on the bottom. So either way, then you trim off the extra and your book is all bound. And then I always go through and I fold my pages like this. I go all the way through it forward and then when I get to the back I'll go again and go from the back to the front and fold all of these pages down so that's my glue book and it's all bound so thanks for watching